Hey, what's up, everybody? Steve Schwartz here from LSAT Unplugged, coming today to share with you what to be doing in the final month before the exam. So the LSAT's only one month away. How do you budget your time over the next four weeks or so? I'll share my thoughts in just a minute, but before I do, please do me a favor, like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It really helps with that YouTube algorithm. I do appreciate it. Thanks. So final month, final four weeks, what do you do? At this point, it's really just about taking full-length timed practice tests and reviewing in depth. Your foundation should already be pretty strong at this point, but if you have any weak areas, of course, you can drill those on the side. So if you want to work on logical reasoning, resolve the paradox questions, if you want to work on curveball logic games, you can certainly do that too. Just drill them on the side, maybe one or two days a week doing those questions by type but the majority of your work should be full-length timed practice tests. If you have a ton of other obligations, just doing one timed exam a week along with detailed review, that's fine. If you have some more free time, you could do two timed exams per week along with detailed review of those exams. Make sure these exams are recent, the most recent five to 10 exams or so. Take them under strict timed conditions, so under standard timing. 35 minute sections, two of those back to back, then a short 10 minute break, then two more back to back. And that's the exam. No pausing the clock to go to the bathroom or check your phone or anything like that. Take it as realistically as you can, as if it were game day itself. Anyway, folks, that's all for now. I hope you found this helpful. Please, again, like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. It really does help. And of course, you can always feel free to reach out to me personally at help at lsatunplugged.com. Thanks for watching.